Hey everyone, 8 months ago I bought this EcoFlow Delta 2 Max for my camping trips. It's got a 2048 watt hour capacity, which is way bigger than my old 500 watt hour station. But I need more power for electric cooking. The official expansion packs are just too expensive. So I've been looking for a budget friendly solution. Today I'm testing this Oatmo 200 mAh lithium battery sent to me for review. It's supposed to give me 2560 watt hour and it's only $319 on Amazon, which is like 12 cents per watt hour. Let's see if it is worth the hype. I'll do a capacity test and then see if it can charge my Delta 2 Max from 0 to 100%. First, I'll charge the battery all the way up to 100%. Now it's fully charged. I'll connect it to this popular capacity tester to check how much power it really has. Okay, it's showing 12.4 volt. I'm draining it to see what happens. This is going to take a while, so I'll come back later. Alright, let's see what we have here. Wow, it's got... 2571 watt hour. That's more than they said it would have. They said it would be 2560 watt hour, but it's even better. For amperage, it's got 212 amp hour, also more than they advertised. That's impressive. I'll charge it again for our next test. It's going to take some time to charge back up, so we'll wait a bit more. Okay, the battery is full again. Let's hook it up to my power station, which is totally empty right now. This station needs at least 11 volts to charge. If it drops below that, it won't work. I want to see if this battery can make it go from empty to full, since there might be some energy loss and voltage will taper off after a certain percentage. I'm using this special cable to connect them. It's called an XT60i cable and it's important for fast charging. It's got a female XT60i on one end and battery ring terminals on the other end. This power station can take two separate 500 watt solar inputs so you could use two batteries if you want. It's crucial to use an XT60i cable for it to recognize the input as solar input for the best charging speed. It's getting 193 watt. This will take some time, so let's check back later. While we wait, here are the details on this Oatmo battery. It's a 12.8 volt, 200 mAh lithium phosphate battery. It comes with a 5 year promise that it will work, and it can be used a lot, like 4000 times at 100% power. It's equipped with a 100 amp battery management system that makes sure it is safe. It weighs 44 pounds and is even lighter than my big power station. And it's definitely lighter than those heavy lead acid batteries people used to use. It also has low temperature protection along with an IP65 water resistant rating. Ok, it's about 10 hours, the Delta 2 Max is fully charged. Now let's see how much energy is left in the Oatmo battery. To find out how much juice left, we will disconnect the battery from the power station and use the capacitor tester again. Let's hook this up and see how much remaining power left. Look at that! I'm surprised it still has 11.8 volt. We will let it run and see when it will run out of power. Oh, it just fall below 11 volt at 133 watt hour. So the remaining energy may or may not be able to charge the power station, even if it was connected. The battery finally exhausted. Let's see what we got here. We've got 205 watt hour left. The EcoFlow Delta 2 Max can hold 2048 watt hour, but since the voltage dropped below 11 volt at 133 watt hour remaining energy, which is about 5% of 2571 watt hour. The usable energy of using this battery to charge the power station is almost 95%, which is quite impressive. So what do you think? Is it a good deal? 
Let me know in your comments below. So here's what I think. This Oakmo battery is pretty great for the price. It gave more power than expected and even worked well with my big power station. If you need more power for camping or emergencies and don't want to spend a lot, this could be a cool option. But remember I didn't do any tests on how it handles really cold weather or if it can deal with too much voltage. Those protections are supposed to be there, but I haven't checked them out myself. Still, for the money, it's a good deal if you're okay with a little less than perfect. This battery meet my objective of doubling my power station with no issue. It provides 2,120 watt hour usable energy to charge my power station, which is only 15 cents per watt hour. I will continue to use and test this battery in the real world and provide more feedback in the future. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until then, I'll see you in my next video.